Villiers Collier UK. This is Nigel Mansell's World Championship Racing. There's a couple of Nigel Mansell games. Back in the day, this is the last one. It came out right near the end of the uh, Specky's life, so it's a... Uh, So that's one of the last uh, commercial racing games on the Spectrum. So you race single circuit, full season, driving school, control season. Let's do a single circuit do us. It's got a close of tracks here. A lot of ones that aren't on the calendar anymore. I'm sure we lament, uh, lament the loss of a lot of these classic tracks. Monza's a nice easy one. This is still where. Uh, this is still uh, on the circuit, so you can actually tune your car. Your gear ratios, your your, your basically your wings, your tyres, and so forth. So it's wet, so we can put wets on. Wait for little guys to put the wheels on. Very smart. Nice digitalised graphics. Qualifier. It's rain coming down. Very, very blocky graphics. Seems to have a problem. I, I can't find the uh, the steering wheel, the keys for the steering wheel. It's a bit of a pain. Very bizarre that because one minute we're we're fine to go and the next minute we're you know the controls aren't working so don't understand that. So some keys work. Now we're off. Really hard to see where I'm going. Am I on the circuit or not? I don't even know where I am. I'm trying to. What the fuck is the road? Right, we're on the road. This I assume this was the road. I wouldn't let you back on there. How the fuck is supposed to see what you're doing? Speed's crazy. It looks a little bit like a Super Monaco Grand Prix. Fantastic speed. You just got no view distance. I think that's unfortunately the sacrifice I've had to make uh, to get the speed. I don't know what the brake is, so that's a bit disconcerting. There's a sort of chicane here. I managed to get round it. I'm not going very fast. You can usually go flat out on the main straight, so. Uh, Every racing game which has Monza, it's always a good one, good one to play because you can really floor it. Downhill, that's good. Bit of elevation. Now that's the sign of a good game. I always say racing game, it's got to have speed. It's got to have some sort of physics in the turning, so it's not completely uh, linear. And also elevation up and down. That's a very key thing to a good racing game. Chase HQ, W. Lee Samot, Le Mans have it, quite a few other games have it, but not all do, so that's quite an encouraging thing. Controls are fucking awful, I feel like it's almost like just driving itself. Getting a bit of speed now, I'm on the main straight. It's a bit worrying because I don't know what the brake is, so I just whack into things. Sound effects pretty good. As far as these sort of things go. Don't be like racing against other cars because I've got no real control. I'm like an obese person and all we can eat buffet. We've not eaten for a day. Completely out of control. It all looks good, just 
can't stop myself. Come on. One big corner here. Pretty good how there's a map. See if you've got time to see it. There we go. So I've got round. You got there's a lot of tape reloading. Now this would have been a pain in the ass back in the day. Obviously with emulation you don't have to worry about loading tapes. We do actually. Uh, what a pain in the ass. Wow. So I'll sort of see if I can get it working. There we go, managed to get it working again. So here we go. We've got all the, the, the official drivers, Nigel Mansell, Jean Alessi, Stefano Moderna, uh, Herbert, all sorts of little brundles there. And you've got Martini at the bottom there, shaken, not stirred. More loading, more loading. Completely forgotten what the acceleration, I know. So I'm, I'm, I'm apparently I finished, I'm first. So I started on the top of the grid, managed to qualify first. Nicely animated cars, there's a, there's a big straight just whizzing by them, they don't seem to be doing much to stop me. I seem to be doing a good job of stopping myself. It's a little bit slower yet, the frame rate has dropped because there's other cars. In there off, Michael Schumacher smashes into the bastard! My bad Murray Walk impression there. No, Mark Schumacher is it, Nigel Mansell. How we laughed when he was about to win the, is it the race or the Grand Prix in a year. His car broke down at the last corner. Well, never was a big Nigel Mansell fan. I mean, he's a British guy, he's alright. Uh, he did win the uh, IndyCar Championship when he went into that as well. So he's a, he's a good driver. Just wasn't a particular fan of him. Mind you, my uncle. Maybe that's why I didn't, weren't a particular fan of him. I think my uncle's alright. As far as uncles go. He's not a blood my uncle anyway, so, you know. So the pressure's got to be, I'm in fifth. Well, I'm about to say I'm fifth, I'm in third now. Seems quite a basic game, this. There's three laps to go. Don't know what the brake key is. Not needed it so far, just sort of smash into things. Flooring it on the home straight now. Position third. Got a bit of gap between catching the others up. Got no brakes, so maybe that's my advantage. It's a bit like playing Gran Turismo. You ever used to play the endurance races because there's no damage in Gran Turismo. You could just there's like these 200 lap races you could do in the nights, uh, not nights street circuits. So you just smash in the sides. You have to worry about actually playing it with any great panache or skill. It's like playing. I'm literally now. I've got the point. I'm just literally on the accelerator the whole time left and right a bit and just seeing if I can uh, win that way. So it's racing, but it's not amazing racing. Or it's a little bit, you know, at least it's not the hardest game because games did tend to be fucking impossible. So I've got the lead. How long I've got it, I don't know. Jean Alacy, go watch that guy. That's it. I don't know. I don't. I don't assume there's any uh, physics, like you know, don't know about being the slip screen or anything like that. Just seems to sort of play. It. I mean, this is the most complicated circuit, but it just seems like it's, it's playing itself. I overlapped somebody already on the last lap. So this is it. It's your in-app reviewer here. Could win a fucking Grand Prix first time out. How about that, eh? Hawks weren't paying attention there. Pressure's getting to him a bit. So it's slow down a little bit to take the corners. I think I've got the measure of these bastards. I was a bit worried when I uh, was top, I, I qualified first. Because in the first lap of qualification, I couldn't even get off the fucking uh, 
start grid. A bit worrying that I managed to do my first actual good lap to, to be winning. So there you go, Nigel Mansell wins the Grand Prix! And then you got to do more loading. Now, this would have been a nightmare. So uh, technically, it's a very, very good game. And uh, the fact it's got so much loading to do suggests that it's a very complicated game. You know, I obviously had to move a lot of uh, memory about. Uh, and, you know, clear memory, reload it and so forth. There's a little picture there, Nigel Mansell with his, his fantastic moustache. Looks like Groucho Marx there. Huh? It almost looks like a bloody thing from a uh, Soviet Union era, doesn't it? Yeah? But uh, got some music there. They're technically great speed, good graphics, what you can see, but gameplay a bit lacking. I don't think this scored amazingly. As I say, like I say, it's one of the last big title games out on the uh, Spectrum back in the day, and uh, yeah, it just. Uh, Maybe the, more, the most talented uh, programs had moved on since then. Maybe not, but... Uh, I was 45 seconds ahead of the last place, guys. So, uh, four seconds ahead of the others. So, uh, anyway, that's uh, Nigel Mansell's World Championship. So, uh, like a swan song for uh, racing games and Spectrum, really. And uh, not too bad, but I'll give it a 6 out of 10 just for its... It's sort of technical achievements, but I don't think realistically all that loading saving to play one pissing race would have done your head in. You literally would have spent as long loading the game again uh, as you would have done playing it. So, uh, anyway, that's uh, Nigel Mansell's World Championship Grand Prix. I'm Colly UK. If you like this video, for whatever reason, you can always give me a comment or something like that. Subscribe if you're so if you haven't already. And anyway, adios. See you around.